The DSR-50 is a sniper rifle based on the older DSR-1 design, but modified to fire incredibly powerful 50 caliber rounds. German manufactured, the weapon is classed as a bolt-action anti-material rifle, meaning it is designed for use against military equipment, such as lightly armored vehicles and radar systems, rather than combatants. If fired on a person, the DSR-50 can cause damage so bad it has been known to sever limbs. The rocket-propelled grenade, or RPG as they're more commonly known as, is the most widely used anti-armor weapon in the world. Found in many countries' military arsenals and often used by insurgent groups, RPGs are highly effective against armored vehicles and soft targets, as they are one of the most destructive, non-guided weapons available. New versions, such as the RPG-32, can penetrate up to 26 inches of armor. Schwerer Gustav was an enormous railway gun used by the Germans during World War II. At 80 centimeters, it was the largest caliber rifled weapon ever used in combat. It was also the heaviest mobile artillery piece ever built. Its 155 foot length and 38 foot height gave Schwerer Gustav a weight of nearly 1,350 tons. A necessity, considering it had to fire 7 ton shells, another record for artillery weapons across a distance of 29 miles. The Nimitz-class supercarriers are 1,100-foot long, 100,000-ton war machines, powered by twin nuclear reactors that run for 23 years without the need for refueling. The 85 jet fighters these carriers hold mean they can give a nation as much military might as possessing nuclear weapons. The backbone of the U.S. Navy, their mere presence in a region, their mere presence in a region is often enough to influence global politics and deter would-be aggressors. Considered at the time of its production in 2003 to be the most powerful non-nuclear weapon ever developed, the GBU-43B Massive Ordnance Air Blast, or Mother of All Bombs, could destroy nine city blocks with its blast radius. Designed to be delivered by a C-130 Hercules transport aircraft, the 30,000-pound, 30 30-foot-long 30 bomb is so powerful, detonation results in a nuclear-style mushroom cloud. They are used primarily as bunker busters, designed to destroy heavily fortified underground sites. Not wanting to be outdone, in 2007, the Russians developed the aviation thermobaric bomb of increased power, nicknamed the father of all bombs. Claimed to be four times more powerful than the previous U.S. version, the FOAB is allegedly the most powerful non-nuclear weapon in the world today. It yields the equivalent of 44 tons of TNT, making the blast similar to that of a small tactical nuclear weapon. When describing the effect of the bomb, Russian Deputy Chief of the General Staff Alexander Rushkin said, All that is alive merely evaporates. Used by the US and the United Kingdom, the Trident II is one of the most powerful weapon systems in use today. These submarine-launched ballistic missiles are thought to be able to travel up to 7,000 miles, although their exact range is classified. The missiles carry eight thermonuclear warheads, which can carry to separate targets, each one delivering a nuclear blast almost 25 times more powerful than the one that leveled Nagasaki. As bad as the Black Plague, anthrax, and Ebola are, their harmful properties are just a product of evolution. The biggest danger lies with the scientists who are manipulating these lethal organisms at a cellular level, creating chimera viruses. Geneticists have already discovered the means to increase the lethality of such bioweapons as smallpox and anthrax by tweaking their genetic structure. Well, in the late 1980s, the Soviet Union's Chimera Project studied the feasibility of combining smallpox and Ebola into one super virus. The use of a chimera virus as a biological weapon is a nightmare scenario. If one was released in a large urban area, then the mortality rate could match that of a nuclear blast. Of all the nuclear weapons in the world today, few can cause as much widespread destruction as the Russian R-36 ICBM. These 106-foot missiles have a range of almost 10,000 miles and can carry up to 17 1-megaton warheads or 38 of the smaller yield variety. These land-based weapons make up for their inaccuracy by being so powerful that, should they miss their target by several miles, the destruction they cause would still likely annihilate whatever they were aiming for. They also come equipped with 40 heavy decoys, meaning any anti-ballistic defense measures 
would have as much difficulty intercepting one R-36 as they would 50 single warheads. On October 30th, 1961, the most powerful artificial explosion in human history took place. It was a test of the Russian AN-602 hydrogen bomb, known as the Tsar Bomba. This 60,000-pound, 26-foot-long weapon had a blast yield of 50 megatons, roughly 3,800 times the power of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima, or 10 times the combined power of all the conventional explosives used in World War II. The blast from Tsar Bomba could cause third-degree burns to someone standing 62 miles away from ground zero, with some windows being partially broken up to distances of 560 miles away. It was decided the weapon was impractically overpowered, it was too large to be carried by an ICBM, and any plane dropping it would be destroyed in the blast. The spread of nuclear fallout would also be enormous. The 27-ton bomb was the only one of its kind ever built.